Mary, <coughs> and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Oh Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we, we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In Gloria Boratari Dei, et Dei qui edifica di un tutto meo. Io dico a me, nel servizio del Tante Mel de Gente, non sancta, per nome nel nome con il nostro errore. Quieto e stelio sfoti tu, ma quando ne acquisti, quando tristi sin cielo, non figi me, di cus. E mi dè luce, non ti vuol dire tante, tu, mi se mi dè tu, se non ti vuol dire, 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 se non ti vuol Confide con te in giro, a Deus, Deus, ma io non so se si sa di mamma e altro, cuore con tuo passo me. Spero che il cuore va a tocco di te, quindi, salutare i punti su me e Deus, me. Gloria a Padre e Figlio e Spirito e Santo, si coderate in principio e non che sempre, e di secula seculorum, Amen. In tuoi volontari dei, e dei punti di figa di un tutto bello, oggi con il nostro mio nome le donne, qui fece cielo e terra. Confidio da un potente via di Maria Santigio e via di Italia Terra, Christ, 
gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pazzo minimus bonne volontatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracis agimus te vi prote magnum gloriam tua, Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pate Omnipotens, Domine Filium e Genite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Aulius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolle spettato mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolle spettato mundi, suscita e deprecazione nostra, qui sense dexteram patris, miserere nobis, quali antus solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, Cum Sancto Spiritu in Gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Axo Vogis et Cum Spiritu Tuo. Ordenus. Reguntum Pastre Tae Recatatus Intende, et per Beatum Silvestrum Sumo Pontifice in Repetua Protectione Custodi, quando Otsius Ecclesia Presisisti e Se Pastore. Per Domino nostro, mio Esu Cristo, un figlio in tuo, che te ne conviva da regno ad un'unità di Spirito Santo e Deus, per Domino sei cura e sei culoro. Amen. Ordemus. Concede che esso sia di potenza Deus, un nostro unigenito tuo in ove per tale un'attività libera, vuol su peccati, giugo vetus te servi custene. Per aiuto un Domino nostro, mio Esu Cristo, un figlio in tuo, che te ne conviva da regno ad un'unità di Spirito Santo e Deus, Terra mia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex epistoli mia si pari opposli ad apleos. Fratres, plures facti sunt sacerdotes, id cerco quod morte proeverentur permenere. Iesus, autem eo, quod male ad in eternum, sempiternum habet sacerdotium. Unde salvari bebetum pote sacerdentes per semit ipsum ad eum, sempre vivens ad interpolandam pro nobis. Tale se non diceva, ut nos eset, eset pontifex sanctus, innocens, involutus, eclegatus, evacatoribus, ed excelsio celis facus, qui non habet necessitatem quotidie, quem ad modum sacerdotes primus prosuis delixis hostia soffere, de inde pro populi, o che ne fecit semel, si ipsum offerendo, Iesus Christus, Domus Noster. Deo gratia. Sacerdote, se io si tu am salutare, e santi io se su tazione e sotavum, e lo produca ancora un dato il parrati luce non Cristo meo. Alleluia, alleluia, iurravi dominus e non penetevi Deum, tu e se scedo sin eternum, secondo morti nel Melchizedek. Alleluia. Sequenzie Santi Vangeli secondo Metterum. Gloria a Tibi Domine. In ino tempore e disit Iesus discipoli suis. Vigilate, qui a nescitis quei vorne, quam Dominus veste venturus i. In lo dauti uscitote, quoniam si scelit pata famigas, quia quora feu feturus esi. Vigilare tutti quei non si merit perfo di Domus suam. Ide o et vos e sote parati, qui a quei nescitis orna, filius hominis venturus esi. Qui es putas, es fidelis servius, et prudens, quem constitui dominus sum super familiam sua, ut et ilis cicum in tempore. Beatus ilei servus quem convenerit dominus eus, in venerit se facci enter. Amen, digo vobis, boniam summa nomia bona sua constitui teum. Laus, tibi Christi. the feast of uh, uh, St. Sylvester, Pope and Confessor in the octave of Christmas. The epistle is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Brethren, of other priests there was a succession since death denied them permanence, 
whereas Jesus continues forever and his priestly office is unchanging. That is why he can give eternal salvation to those who, through him, make their way to God. He lives on still to make intercession on our behalf. Such was the high priest that suited our need, holy and guiltless and undefiled, not reckoned among us as sinners, lifted high above all the heavens, one who has no need to do as those other priests did, offering a twofold sacrifice day by day, first for his own sins, then for those of the people. What he has done, he has done once for all, and the offering was himself, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time, Jesus told his disciples, You must be on the watch then, since you do not know the hour of your Lord's coming. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and not allowed his house to be broken open. And you too must stand ready. The Son of Man will come at an hour when you are not expecting him. Which of you then is a faithful and wise servant, one whom his master will entrust with the care of the household to give them their food at the appointed time? Blessed is that servant who is found doing this when his Lord comes. I promise you he will give him charge of all his goods. Our Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, the feast of Saint Sylvester. Pope and Confessor, Pope, Bishop of Rome, between 31st of January 314 AD to the 31st of December 335. A very important figure in church history, even though not all that much is left uh, known about him. But of course, he was uh, Bishop of Rome when Emperor Constantine converted to Christianity. It was uh, to uh, Sylvester that Constantine uh, gave the Lateran and the Vatican and uh, Holy Cross in Jerusalem, uh, Holy, uh, Holy Cross of Jerusalem, and uh, these major basilicas were built uh, by Constantine uh, in favour of the new then religion of the empire. St. Helena, of course, Constantine's mother, uh, was already a Christian and uh, she it was, of course, who uh, discovered uh, the uh, Holy Cross uh, on Calvary, uh, rediscovered it, that is to say, uh, and uh, it is said that uh, she had uh, bonfires lit on hilltops from Jerusalem all the way to Rome to let her son know that she had found the true cross. Because of course it was Constantine uh, who had a vision uh, in the sky of a cross and heard the words, in this sign conquer, uh, that brought him to be sole emperor of both east and west parts of their then Roman Empire. It is said, uh, according to legend, that uh, St. Sylvester uh, baptizing Constantine cured him of leprosy and thus Constantine uh, showed great favor towards the church. Sylvester of course uh, though had lived during the times of persecution but was most solicitous uh, in the ensuing debates uh, in the church to uh, be the most lenient and most uh, forgiving of those who apostatized from the faith uh, during the time of persecution. He also oversaw the uh, end of the Donatist uh, schism and uh, also of course the Council of Nicaea, though he wasn't there himself, he sent uh, two embassies, two legates to represent him, but ratified uh, the findings of that great council, which of course uh, Constantine uh, had called some 300 bishops uh, of the then known world meeting together to formulate uh, once and for all uh, a clear statement of Christian belief which of course we have been reciting all this uh, octave and will of course and always do recite on Sundays and other great feasts the uh, 
symbol known to us as the Nicene Creed. Blessed is that servant who is found doing this when his Lord comes. I promise you he will give him charge of all his goods. I made a brief mention in yesterday's homily about our stewardship of uh, material and physical things that we each individually have been blessed by from God's providence to use them, to offer them in return to effect God's will. Each and every one of us, my brothers and sisters, uh, has been blessed, though not uh, necessarily with equanimity between us, uh, equality for example, so some of us have been perhaps more greatly blessed than others uh, with material and physical things. However, each and every one of us has received what we have by virtue of God's grace from his providence. That is to say, of course, that all things ultimately belong to him, come from him, and we are expected as Christians to offer them uh, by return to him. We, my brothers and sisters, only need so much to endure our physical existence in this life. We only need so much to clothe us, to feed us, to shelter us, and all such is generally provided for us. Indeed, if we were to consider uh, the magnitude of God's providence towards humanity, we would note, of course, that there is more than enough resources in the world to clothe and feed and shelter and uh, succour the majority of humanity. There is enough food, there are enough materials and yet, of course, there is so much uh, deprivation in the world. There are those who do not receive enough. It is not necessarily uh, because God has given them a poor hand. Ultimately, of course, it comes down to the fact that other members of humanity are not generous, are not sharing what has been uh, so amply provided for us all. During Lent and in Advent, of course, we are uh, called upon by Holy Mother Church to uh, practice corporal works of mercy, to perform acts of charity, that is selfless giving, to ensure that uh, others are able to receive something of God's grace to all of us from those of us who have more than we need. Needless to say that uh, despite the fact that Christmas for some people uh, is now over, we are only in the seventh day and uh, this period of uh, charity and grace uh, means to last past Twelfth Night and the Feast of the Epiphany through to Candlemas. Of course, not long after Candlemas will begin Lent. So there's not much opportunity for us as Christians to be selfish. There is more than ample opportunity for us to share what we have with those who have need. And recall, my brothers and sisters, that our Lord did say to the disciples uh, in castigation, I believe, of Judas concerning uh, Mary Magdalene's pouring of precious oil, spikenard, over his feet. You will not always have me, but the poor you will always have. And of course later in talking about judgment, particularly that judgment, that second judgment that we as Christians will face, those five questions. Where were you when I was hungry? when I was naked, when I was thirsty, when I was sick, and when I was in prison. And we, my brothers and sisters, we will have to answer those questions. What does our Lord say about those questions to those who said, where were you? We didn't see you when you were naked, when you were thirsty, etc. 
He says, those that that's what you do for the least of these, you do for me. So in other words, my brothers and sisters, our Lord, we should see him in the needy. We should see him in those who are poor, not just materially, of course, but also spiritually. We must seek to serve him in the needy. If, my brothers and sisters, we are to fulfill that new commandment of which St. John the Divine records in his Gospel, to love one another as Christ loved us, so that the world may recognize us as his disciples, and particularly inspired by this gift of Christ at Christmas, we should strive, all of us in the Universal Church, to demonstrate that charity, that selfless love, by indeed sharing what we have with those who have need. We might recall St. Luke's uh, account of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, where he says that the uh, Christians met, early, uh, met together daily, both to worship, to eat, and to share what they had amongst themselves for those with, with those who had need. It is a great shame that now in the 21st century so few Christians meet on a daily basis, meet on a daily basis to worship, meet on a daily basis to share with each other according to need. Imagine, my brothers and sisters, what a witness that would be to our world, to our selfish and materialistic world. What a witness it would be, though, to those who are searching for the truth, who are moved within themselves, though they do not know it, by the Holy Ghost, to find the truth in Jesus Christ. Those who would respond to the love of God made manifest in him, if they could but recognize it. And they of course are striving, uh, and we are called to assist them to recognize it, both in the revealed word, i.e. in scripture, by our teaching, by our theology, but also too by our witness, by our personal testimonies, not just uh, in personal testimony of us giving an account of that hope that we have in us, as St. Peter urges us to do, not just telling people about our faith and how we came to faith or how our faith affects our lives, but by being seen to live out our faith. It is with great sadness sometimes that one looks at the Universal Church and notes that the vast majority of Christians pay only word and not deed to their testimony to Jesus Christ. There are many who talk the talk but don't walk the walk. And the trouble is, my brothers and sisters, of course, it is those who are most vocal that others hear, and then it is easy for them to recognize the hypocrisy. To quote another adage, actions speak louder than words. Or to quote St. John Chrysostom, if you do not recognize Jesus in the beggar in the street, you will not recognize him, you will not see him in the chalice of the altar. Indeed, my brothers and sisters, if we are not living out our faith, rather begs the question if we have the faith at all. Today is, of course, the end of one year, tomorrow is the beginning of a new calendar year. 
It is a time when uh, people of some faith or none talk about making New Year's resolutions, talk about how they're going to or what they're going to do to improve themselves or their lives for the next year. They will set themselves goals and targets, they will make themselves promises and probably 90% will fail in the endeavour. Some of those resolutions, or most of those resolutions, will probably be concerning themselves. Usually their own health, usually their own wealth. And when they fail, they will continue in their dejection for the rest of the year. And they may despair. So it is that we, my brothers and sisters, as Christians, have a golden opportunity a golden opportunity to witness to the resolutions we made at our baptism, or that were made for us, that we affirmed at our confirmation. It is time for us, perhaps, to resolve, to more demonstrably bear witness to Christ in our lives in the new year ahead. And in so doing, give a glimpse and a glimmer and the prospect of hope to those otherwise so concerned for themselves and so dependent and reliant upon themselves that they generally will only fail in their new endeavours. Yet might, yet might by our witness amongst our family, amongst our friends, amongst our work colleagues might yet look upon us and ask how is it that we are able to endure all sorts of things because we have love one for another and not for ourselves. And as we said yesterday, for all things are possible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. we, my brothers and sisters, lived our lives such that we demonstrated our belief in the promises of the Gospel. Imagine how that might affect the perception and the attitude towards life of those around us. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Let us pray for the continued guidance and wisdom of the Holy Ghost to enable us to find the words to speak but the confidence too to, demonstra to, do, to demonstrably live out our faith. others may see and recognize the light of Christ within us and the way in which we live our lives and be drawn to him and themselves come with us to recognize that they are children of God that, that spirituality that they glibly talk about within themselves is that invitation planted from the beginning of time in all humanity to live in love and in union with God. May we help them to realize and acknowledge and accept that invitation and recognize and accept the gift, the true gift of Christmas. The good news of salvation 
of redemption, of hope, of love, by themselves coming to faith in him who is God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen.
potrebbe essere un sacrificio inaccettabile, che è stato tempo per altri luoghi potenti. Su Shibri ad oggi non sacrificio dei mali a Mussolini, a Rivali, a Giovi, a Nobis, a Giovi, 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 Secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum et cum spiritum tuo. Sosum corda. Ademus ad dominum. Crassis camus domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est. Veri dignum et justum est ecco per salutare i nostri disembre pubblico e crassis agile domine sante parte l'onipotenza e denedeus. Qui a per incanati verbi esterni novamente is nostre oculis luxus tuoi claritatis impulsi. Udum visibiliter deum comioscus perpum in invisibilium amorem reveabur. Et i deu come genis da carus dis controlis e dominazioni custumque omni milice celestis et textus, in un gloria e tue carus sin e fine di centes. Sanctus, 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 Domus Deus Sanctus, Lenis un cieli e terra gloria tua, osana in eccelsis. Benedictus cui venit in nomine Domini, osana in eccelsis.
escola foi aberta até hoje. Aurus Dei, ece qui tolet peccato mundi. Domine non sunigius, ut in tre su tecto mea, se tanto te vemo, et sen abitur anima mea. Domine non sunigius, ut in tre su tecto mea, se tanto te vemo, et sen abitur anima mea. Domine non sunigius, ut in tre su tecto mea, se tanto te vemo, et send abitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are enabled therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words for which you will find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. 
I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee, and may not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
Beatus servus quem convenerit Dominus, in venerit vigilantem. Amen de vobis super omnia bona sua constituit ei. Obiscum et cum spirito tu. Alleluia. Prefecțione sancta in nutrit in guberna Caesus Domine tuam placatus Ecclesia, ut potenti moderazioni directa et incrementa libertatis acipi ad et religionis integritate visista. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesu Cristo Filium tu, e te con divina regna di unità di spiriti santi dei per la mia secura seculo Amen Orde Presta a Caesimus Amipotens Deus un datus fodi e salvato con visico divino in obis generazione se sta a cor e ta rete mortalità di siti e lagito e te con divina regna di unità di spiriti santi dei per la mia secura seculo Amen Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritum Tuo, ita in Isa est, Deo gratias. Se in nome Domini Benedictum, ex opunto Dusco in secola, a tutorum nostrum in nome dei Domini, qui feci cielo e terra, benedicat voi, Pate et filius et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Dominus obiscum et con spirito tuo, initium sancti angeli, secondum mio guarda, gloria e attivi domini. In principio è il vero, ma il vero è il capo di Deo, ma Deo sarà il vero. Ma che era che in principio è il capo di Deo? Ma ogni primo fatto sono che si è messo fatto di Signore, ma fatto di me. In inizio vita è la vita, è la luce, la vita, la luce, la terra, la luce, la luce, la terra, la terra, non comprende Deo. Tu e tu mi messi a sedere con il nome della luce, ma a me, se il verità è il testimone, il testimone è il vero, il lume è il nome spreco del tuo Dio. Non è il vero, il lume è il testimone, il vero, il lume è il vero, il vero, il lume è 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 il vero, e mondo è raso, mondo è solo un fatto, se è solo un fatto, mondo è solo un fatto, in proprio benedizio, non c'è perdo. Quando fuori a te non c'è perdo, te è solo stato il figlio, se è fiero, che è il figlio di nome, è il figlio. Qui non è sanguinico, non è più tanti cani, non è più tanti vini, se è il figlio, non è il figlio. È il vero, non è il caro, non è il fatto, non è il figlio. E da vita a vita in nobis, se vini mus gloria, ne us gloria, in quasi un genere di apatria, per un razzo e verità. Andeo, grazie.